halfway. Oh no, man! Like Scuffed is kind of running away with uh, with the with their wins right now. They're currently on uh, 12 wins if we're counting last game. 12 wins, three losses. Um, then again, Blaster also on uh, nine wins, two losses. So I mean, yeah, um, kind of tough to say. But Scuffed is 1320, and then Blast 1280, and then you've got a bunch of teams in 1260, including Quackheads, um, who are find themselves in sixth. So yeah, before I could even finish the uh, summary. We've got Middleman taking that in for two, so he's looking to make this game spicy, and spicy it is. Yeah, very spicy. Ten seconds in, and he scores that two-pointer. Quack kids are not to be forgotten about. They're playing very well here, but we have yeah. Blast coming out with their possession. Joust, JB trying to get through the tunnel, and he can't. Dage is there picking this up, sending it up high. Hopefully, one of his teammates can receive it, and they can't because Beaver holds this inverse on the ceiling. Passes it down to Doc, oh. who sees an angle. He puts that in, 70 meters per second speed. That's the three points on the board for Blast. Yeah, very clean, very clean. Good shot from Dark and uh, excellent pass as well. It's really good decision making. There's a uh, nice see Snowy Blue and Dej on, um, on Quadcats. I think Dej has been in Quadcats for, for quite a while. Uh, now, ooh, there comes the stack speed from Blaster. Again, they just maybe weren't expecting it. And we'll see kind of the first round will be that warm up period of uh, the teams kind of warming up against each other. So we might see some unusual goals. Uh, but if you've been yeah. watching Echo Arena for a while, you know this is how it goes. Yeah, if you're caught on the back foot, this this happens uh, as you're coming out, trying to grab that and trying to QB well. If you have a good front stack on the other team, they'll just come in and crash you. And that kind of thing happens where they steal it, put it in, three points for them, and you're feeling pretty demoralized. But despite that, Quack Kids are already find themselves in the bubble of Blast, trying to do some damage, but they can't quite get through. Blast, we gain possession here with one of their stacks moving forward, ready to receive this clear. Is that a clear going through? No, it's a pass forward to Duck, Duck. Finding the stack that he has deep that aren't quite getting a hold in it, but they are now. Boop, sending it across, trying to connect with the player across the arena. Beaver picks this up on the back line as Boss pressures Beaver in that way, but Beaver gets the pass over to Boot. Boot moving into the bubble now, he says. Yes, three of his teammates in that bubble oh, ready no. to receive that. One of them does receive it, but doesn't quite get it in as it clips off the goal. And Quack Kids are dribbling forward now and taking a shot. Oh, just underneath the shield there, the angle wasn't quite lined up right. But Dej is here, along the floor, passing across, trying to get that to middleman. He does. Middleman holds this on the wing. Passing down the middle there, and this is loose. Oh, but boss. Up by boss. Almost gets the shot in uh, there, Snowy Blue, but not quite as that one it gets passed through. And they've got to be a little bit careful here. The, uh, the Quackheads do manage to get back uh, just in time there. As Beaver getting that pass back to JBL, and he's kind of seen what he can do about it. Boss is kind of um, behind him on his toes, so see what he can do. Pass back to Beaver, and uh, yeah, they're just uh, they're just looking at their options here as as Quackheads kind of try and push them, but they got to make sure they don't push kind of too deep because otherwise they'll leave that stack too far back. Boop, though, on the back of the stack might make things a little bit difficult in defense here for Quackheads as the cross comes through and Dark finds himself one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Middleman, but no, he's going to miss. That's his second two-point miss in the bubble. I don't want to rub it in, but, you know, worth, uh, worth, worth stating as uh, the boss tries to take it up and we start kind of seeing a similar situation to what happened with Blast before. Now they've got to kind of wait for the rest of their players to get up the field and Snowy floating midair, but Beaver, yeah, you can't really push him. Uh, you can't really push him. He knows kind of how that's going to go if he if he pushes him straight away. As that one comes through, that's <laughs> that's a shot. He that's does gonna it. Be in. He does best. Yep. Boop puts in a boop shot. Yep. And I, honestly, I at this point, I kind of assume it isn't him when I do it because every single time that I see a boop shot, and it comes out of blast. I'm like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if it came out of boop? And it never is. But there you go. Boop does a boop shot, guys. Rare moment. And we have Quackheads coming out here. Snowy Blue is oh. beaten to it. As Beaver, who is always upside down. Is he just always upside down? As Probably. Dark as well. Yeah. Yeah. X has been noticed, by the way. I'd see you chatting in the corner of my eye. Behave you. As a, that's a two point shot. And there goes Beaver. Very nice goal there by Beaver. Beaver getting two more points on the board. Blast find themselves leading by nine points here, 11 to two. There's five minutes left on the clock for this first round against Quackheads. Quackheads come out now. Can they turn this around within the first round? Let's see. 
Minimum <laughs> tries to get it out there. Uh oh. But Beaver, he just. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He picks those up and he puts that in. That's three more points for Blast. He scored wow. so fast, he even made the in game announcer stumble over his words. That's. <laughs> for me, he played two voice lines at the same time. That's incredible work. Um, yeah, I think it's a good good as time as ever now to uh, to mention that, uh, you know, Gobshite's still the captain of this team. He, he doesn't play, uh, or he's not playing at least right now um, anymore, but yeah, he's, a, he's a busy man now. He's got lands to handle. There's a LAN next April. Be there, be square, be European, or pay a lot for your plane tickets. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes, right? As uh, the box comes from the clear and uh, takes it through, bounces straight back. Interestingly enough, um, but Boop does manage to take it back. No boop shot this time. It's going to be a straight pass over to Beaver, who's holding this one uh, along mid. And now Dark coming through with a spin and not a win. Not going to, not going to, not going to take that shot. Um, it's not going to make it through. So clear coming through. Not quite going to make uh, the quack head stack do uh, missing quite a lot there. So. Gonna take a while to recover and take a while to get in the bubble, but hey, no. <laughs> that's a shot that no one was expecting and uh, definitely not the goalie of Blast as that one goes in for two points. Yeah, they're not messing around. Quackheads are in this to play this game. Then they're, they're not gonna receive a mercy or anything like that. They're, they're trying to get some points on the board and they're putting the work in. Let's see how they counter this joust coming out now by Blast. That is Boop holding that, moving it very quickly out to right station back to. Dark, Dark getting over to the left side. Now well, we have Boo taking a shot, but that's red on the back line by Snowy Blue. Snowy Blue looking at his triple stack of his teammates setting up, moving up high. Do they receive this? They don't quite oh, no. as they're now stack racing towards this. Boot picking this up on the back line. Boop looking for his options as he has a stack right in front of him. Resets it back to JB. JB gets it over to right. Popcorn where we have Beaver on top of the pop. Passing it down to Trench where it's picked up by... Oh, I really oh, thought that Boot for the three, but it's okay. JB's there. A two will do. JB puts yeah. that in. That's a difficult read as well. Very good read from JBL. I think it's worth pointing out. When it bounces down uh, under that shield, where that little ramp is um, under the goal, it's, it's very, very hard to read where it's going to go. Um, whether it's going to come in front or behind the shield. And it came out just in front of the shield. And uh, great read by JBL. Gives them two points. So, yeah, it's going to be very difficult for this comeback to happen, but, you know, we've seen we've seen crazier things in this game, I'm not going to lie, uh, as Dark comes through, but Beaver's going to make that a little bit harder. He's going to put that one in for the three. And I do notice that without that kind of master tier barrier, um, it, you, you kind of do look at matches a different way, because previously you'd see kind of uh, this matchup and you'll go, oh, well, it's the first, it's the it's the number two team versus number number seven or something it would be in Master Tier. So it's like, uh, yeah, you see that as quite a big gap when realistically the skill gap in the very top of this game is, is almost, it's shrinking down to almost nothing at this point. Um, so yeah, you kind of look at matches differently and uh, expect more to happen, I suppose. And uh, there is more to come, I'm sure, as, uh, yeah, I think Quackheads are more or less, they're kind of just thinking about what they're going to do in the second round at this point. There's a minute and a half left. Um, realistically, they're not going to bring these, uh, I don't like saying these things because they're kind of uh, final and yeah, depressing, but <laughs> you can't, they can't really bring this back realistically. Um, but yeah, they're just, they're just thinking about the second round and uh, playing to the best of their ability. And they're, they're using the rest of this round to kind of see what they can do. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what they should be doing. And yeah, it might uh, it might involve them conceding more points in this first round, but it's worth it to get that knowledge for the second and third round, uh, should it come to that. So uh, now, uh, Blastar gonna walk it through. Dark taking that th uh, three point shot, and uh, we'll listen to that anthem for a little bit. And that's the end of round one. That that's a mercy. Yeah, it's a mercy. Bye, Blast. X, you're driving your motorcycle for eight hours to get to land. How is that even a thing? Is that is that illegal? Are you allowed to do that? I mean, yes, but should you do that? I think is a real question. By the way, anyone that is in EU, even if you're in America as well, if you haven't got a ticket for Duckman Land, you are silly. You're a silly sausage. Yeah, you need to silly. get one right now. And be there. Be there or be square. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Buy it. Get it bought. <laughs>
So Swift, earlier you were saying, well, not that much earlier, like a minute ago, you were saying when it's looking a bit dire, like you've lost the first round, there's like a minute left on the clock. Mm -hmm. What what would you be thinking about? What would you be trying? What would you use that? Because you, you've got a minute or two yeah. to play with, right? You yeah, There's exactly. nothing to gain. So what, what would you do? Well, if I dust out the cobwebs in my brain, um, I could tell you my thoughts a year ago, which were... Uh, something, something along the lines of uh, when you when you're kind of in that last minute of the round and things are kind of looking bleak, it's way better to just look into next round rather than trying to bring it back. Um, especially when you're at the point like 20 points down, um, which is a mercy win, but like 15 points down. Um, you know, you're kind of at the point where you know it's better to kind of think about the second and third round. You're more likely to get something out of that. Um, just try stuff out, concede more points because that's what's going to happen. Um, because if you're playing wacky stuff to kind of test it out, you know, you're, you're, you're not going to be as polished and you're probably going to concede more as that two-point shot comes through for Blast. So, uh, you know, this might be the start of something great for um, for Quackheads in the second round. Uh, sorry. So, yeah, just trying stuff out for the last last uh, half of the round is, is, a, is a very good option. And I'm sure that's what Quackheads were doing because they kind of, they started playing a little bit differently and they, uh, yeah, you know, they, they conceded more goals, but overall they were kind of they were just trying stuff. So, you know, what can you really expect to happen? As uh, this round, um, you know, we improve. That's how, that's how this works. You know, uh, do badly in the first round, we improve, we move forward. And they're definitely doing better. And that, yeah. that felt more like Quackheads just then. As, as, uh, the boss had more of a chance, but now Beaver puts that in and he levels out the game 2 2. Yeah. I think uh, Middleman just not expecting the shot um, that early there. Um, expecting maybe him to take it into the bubble a little bit, a little bit more than that. But you know, Beaver has his ways. That is one of the ways. And uh, yeah, I'd say definitely Beaver knows how to catch goalies off guard. That's definitely what I've noticed uh, about him as a striker. Very good at catching goalies off guard, kind of shooting when they're not expecting him to shoot. We saw that uh, even in the last uh, the last game against Scuffed as well. Caught a couple of uh, goals. Um, We've got a three-pointer on um, on Oculalan as well, just kind of shooting when he wasn't expecting him to. Um, as uh, we see a little bit more of a controlled play here, but uh, Snowy Blue uh, not quite uh, looking for that one. As I think he just came out of the stun, so was a little bit dazed. Um, but Boop coming through with the three-point shot, but a beautiful save from Snowy Blue. So he's redeeming that one with a save. And now the pass comes through from the boss, and he's kind of on a duel here against JBL. JBL is going to be able to take out one of them, but the boss is going to fend for himself here. The stat comes through for Boop. Boss is able to stun Boop right as he gets onto the disc. This could be a goal for the boss, right. and it certainly is. Beautiful play. Kind of a solo play there from yeah, the boss. Yeah, fend for himself. He did. He did that yeah. very well. He had two goldies there to deal with, and he found his way around them. This is the kind of quackheads I was expecting to see. They are delivering now. They just had to wait for the second round to do it. Yeah. Beautiful, uh, beautiful play from uh, from the boss and we'll probably see more of that in the future that double stack got uh oh that, that single stack sorry got stunned out in the midline so that's gonna that's gonna slow this game down considerably although quackhead still did get uh ooh, oh, that, that that's a very unfortunate thing the roll off from the bottom of the arena and uh yeah not quite gonna make its way into the goal but you know uh, blast move forward from that so yeah, kind of what we saw there uh, was that Quackhead start got stunned in the middle and then it kind of just considerably slowed down the game and then they couldn't find a pass because, of course, the stack was stunned out. And here comes Dark. Oh, almost a read there um, from Dejan Snowy Blue on the back stack, but it will be a three-pointer for on Blast. That must be frustrating for Quackheads there. They were back in time, but I guess the hands just weren't ready to catch it as that did go in anyway. Yeah. Really tough to position yourself properly there. Um, I always find that if, even if you use your break midair, it's kind of uh, very difficult to read where you're actually going to go as a three-point shot comes through. Um, and yeah, just going to be able to... Again, it doesn't really matter if you don't land those. Like um, At the worst, even if you lose possession, you're still making the other team more kind of conscious um, about their goal being open, which, I mean, it, I mean, I guess it can be a bad thing because... Blast, uh, their biggest weakness that we saw in the last game against Scuffed was that they got too complacent. And reminding them about that maybe isn't the best idea, but at the same time, you know, if you if they're able to keep Blast kind of back and, uh, you know, on the back foot, 
then it does give Quackheads a little bit more time, and we have seen that they they do they do perform better when they have that little bit of extra time. But unfortunately, they're playing against Blast, so they don't have much of that uh, at the moment as Boot comes through. And the pass to Dark, and Middleman gets rid of that uh, promptly in the bubble. Beautiful save as it comes through um, for another opportunity for Blast as they cross it through. Boop looking for another pass to Beaver and probably another cross behind the goal. No, Beaver in front to Dark on the shield and a beautiful layup on to the two-point shot there. Yeah, that was some really good patience there from Blast. They were waiting for the right opportunity. They don't, they're not trying to force it in now, even though they were technically down at that point before that goal went in. They're still waiting for the the smart shot to take and they took it. And now they're leading by one point here. As Quackheads come out with their just advantage, middleman getting a pass over to left tunnel. It's intercepted, it's red. Boop sends it up to Beaver and Beaver put, no, JBL, sorry. JBL assisted that, Beaver scores that from the ceiling. And he, he Beaver is inverted for this entire game, right? I, I don't know why yeah. I'm obsessing over it. It's, I think because I just haven't really seen it. I haven't seen a player or even two players of a team commit to inverted yeah. play. I think Beaver and Dark is one of those upside down stacks. Um, mm. They both stay down. Uh, they both stay upside down consistently. It, it does uh, throw the other team off. And, you know, you can kind of have, you can do completely different jukes when you're upside down. Mm. Um, of course, from just like the small bit of up and down movement you can do. But that's an answer back. And again, uh, what did we say before about Blast leaving their goal open for too long? Mm. Um, you know, that was a considerable amount of time. Um, I'm not really saying Quackheads were slow. I'm just saying that um, compared to last game um, against Scuffed, that was a considerable amount of time that, uh, you know, Quackheads took to move it forward because they kind of assumed Blast would be Blast would be back by then, but they weren't, and they just put it in for a three. So they do have to really uh, think about what they're doing with these stacks. And, I mean, that's certainly helping them out, um, making Blast more careful and more conscious of decisions. And they're just slowing them down, which is exactly what they need to be doing. And uh, very good play is Beaver Jukes won, but he's not quite able to get that shot on target as um, the post fends it off for Middleman. And now, Quackheads have possession. They do try and clear it straight down the middle, although I expect that's not really going to have a... F Ooh. I was going to say, that's not going to be favorable, but they do manage to maintain possession, but uh, doesn't matter because Boop is able to get his hands back on the disc. A beautiful shot from Dark, makes its way into the bottom pocket. And yeah, just beautiful mail slot from Dark, upside down, no less. So, um, trying to think, yeah, that that is a pretty difficult shot upside down from there. And of course, it does change the angles as well, uh, vertically, when you're trying to make shots. Um, yeah, it usually makes it a little bit harder because you kind of got that more underhand action. But some people prefer that. Some people prefer shooting underhand. I know it's rare, but as a player, Starkey17, he has an incredible accuracy on his underhand shot. That's his preferred one. And I used to play with him and he would be he would be on opposite popcorn and he'd be able to hit a three pointer from there under up. And I, yeah. I found that so unique because it's so rare that people are so proficient throwing under arm like that oh that was that could have been on target i think for um for the goal there but no it's going to be middleman with the clear and they're already stacked down and in fact i say stacked down but they do play this a little bit more strategically here at quackheads we, we do see them they stack at the beginning but then they kind of split half so that uh, snowy has someone to pass to in the case that that blast stack does get it back in time which is most of the time as boop uh spec yeah gonna try and just get rid of that but not quite able to find a teammate as snowy blue kind of forced to snap uh, slap that out for dej but now another stack race comes through uh the boss is going to be the first one to that he's got quite a bit of time as he passes one, this one through to dej and now looking for that cross in in fact it doesn't matter he's going to cut straight into the center of the bubble and uh, a good bait there from the, uh, the offense. I'm not sure if it was intentional, but kind of coming off of that shield, um, the player on the shield coming out, um, forcing a defender to cover him, and then Dej walks it up. So, beautiful play. Yeah, that was great to see. I can't help it. I'm sure everyone has this as well, but I naturally root for the underdog, and right now, Quackheads are the underdog, and I, yeah. I'm i happy when they have moments like that, because that was some finesse as they put that in there. Dej taking a great shot. But anyway, here we are with Beaver. Beaver passing across to JB. L, who gets it up to Dark. Dark moving into the bubble here. Passing it up. Goes pass over to Eat Beaver. Beaver holds this, sends it back to Boop. Boop is on cloud, taking his time. Sends it up to Beaver. Back to him. And oh. Beaver takes a shot. Maybe should have passed. <laughs> it was a good effort. Maybe trying to, as you said before, get past the goalie. 
by shooting when they least expect it. Okay, here we go. Here we go again. Here we go again. Blue team with another amazing goalie. And I mean, yeah, Middleman's been one of those people for ages now. Mm -hmm. um, Quackheads has been, uh, oh, that's a, a nice inside, inside shot from Dart. Um, bring this one up and 30 seconds left on the clock. This is going to be tough for Quackheads now. Uh, yeah, four points left. It's not doable, I don't think. Um, I don't think so. Unfortunately, but yeah. That is going to be a blast taking it in two rounds. Um, but yeah, oh, Dark intercepting that. Gonna put that one in for the three. Was that a dab? Oh yeah, I'm watching the replay. He puts it, it in. It he was. cements that win. It looked like a dab. End of the I second round. <laughs> yeah, beautiful play from uh, from Blast and redeeming that first loss a little bit. Um, MMR wise, and I'm sure they're not struggling really for that at the moment. But yeah, Blast has got their uh, eyes set um, on beating Scuff the next time. Whilst they come across them um yeah beautiful couple of games and uh i'm glad to be back it's nice to be back it's good to have you back as well swift we've missed you and it's good to have you in as well absolutely <laughs> amazing caster joining us money mitch everyone can we get some claps in the chat please <laughs> rounds of applause in the chat please for the first vrml cast of money mitch first and, ever uh, first ever vrml cast First See, ever, first of many. Let's do a hundred Vera Mill cars. This works much better at land where you don't just have a parade of silence after you ask people to <laughs> clap. <Everybody> applause. <laughs> applause pending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, either way, thank you everybody uh, so much for watching the stream. Really, really appreciate it. Appreciate you all. And uh, yeah, of course, thank you very much, Money Mitch. And Wonder Team Man, of course, on the cams. The all reliable. I don't want to say all because it's not really true, but you know, the reliable. <laughs> but with that said, thank you everybody so much for watching and uh, we'll see you all next time.